Hello everybody, it's Lost Pilot here to talk about the Liveries Mega Pack Manager, which is a Liveries Manager for the Mega Pack specifically, which you're probably familiar with, otherwise known as Clink's Mega Pack. This Mega Pack has been around for quite a while, and uh, this tool came out as a way to manage and install only the liveries you want from the Mega Pack, which is fantastic because if you're like me, uh, you've probably been downloading the Mega Pack, which has been growing exponentially in size, and then just cherry picking the liveries that you want out of the Mega Pack. Uh, so, no longer do you have to do that. However, I wanted to do this video for two reasons. One is just to show you the liveries Mega Pack Manager. The other reason I want to do it is to talk about how it works with, or rather how it doesn't quite work with, MSFS Add-ons Linker, which is another program that I use and have done a few videos about. Um, so this manager doesn't necessarily conflict with the add-ons manager, it's just that it kind of does um, a different thing and the, the way it works isn't going to necessarily work with your add-ons linker workflow, at least that's been my experience. So if you're familiar with the add-ons linker, it's a program that allows you to create symbolic links to your add-ons no matter where they're located, so you can create a separate add-on folder and then create sim links from within the program itself in a very easy to manage way. And if you're not familiar with it, be sure to check my channel, I have several videos on that program as well. Uh, so. If you're just looking for an overview of this program, it's pretty straightforward. I'll get that out of the way and then we'll talk about how it works or doesn't work with the add-ons linker. So we've got a home screen here. When you first install this, it's gonna ask you for your community folder and we'll touch on that when we get to the settings as well. This home screen here is just gonna be where their update feed exists. So right now it's just welcoming us to it and letting us know how it works. As it mentions, it says to head over to the Available Liveries tab and scroll through the list, select the ones you want to install, click the floating button to install, and uh, to update them, it says please wait for us to implement this feature, so that's not there yet, and you can remove the liveries, and we'll get into uh, one of the limitations in this uh, first version here of that. So first and foremost, let's head over to settings and you'll see that I put my community folder path here. I run the Steam version, so uh, that's the path there. Uh, and then we'll head over to the available liveries page. And so there is a, a toolbar here, or, or rather a, a banner here that tells you when the liveries list was last updated. Now this is not when the list was actually last updated, it's when your list here was last refreshed. So you'll notice that uh, says 11, or rather 1.47 p.m. when I hit refresh, it's just gonna say 1.50. So uh, just to clarify, this isn't when the list was last updated. This is when your list was last refreshed. Just wanted to point that out. I assume if there's new liveries added, it'll probably show up in the, uh, in the update feed here. All right, so you have all the aircraft listed here, and you can expand any of these to see more information. And um, you can basically go through and you can select all the liveries, or you can deselect all, or you can check each individual livery and you can expand to view a little thumbnail of the livery that you're going to be installing here. And it mentions here that uh, this string is a unique string that represents the entire livery there, which I'm not entirely sure what that's useful for, but that may become self-evident later. So yeah, you can kind of see which, which add-ons you have available to you here, or you can just select them all and hit this install button here. So whether you select all or individuals, you're gonna have this kind of, uh, think of it as almost as your little shopping cart here. So as you add different liveries, you can uh, once done, hit the install button and it will download and install those to your community folder. So there's one thing I wanted to point out about this in the way it works currently uh, as, a, as a little bit of a bug slash, limit, slash limitation is when you first install liveries and click install, I've noticed that when you go to install liveries, uh, and I haven't done it yet, but it will still say there's no liveries detected. I've had to actually, even hitting refresh or navigating away and back doesn't help, I found that I have to actually close this entire program and reopen it for it to actually detect the installed livery. So it seems like currently it only runs the check for installed liveries at launch. Um, I assume in a future update it will check probably anytime you navigate to the installed liveries folder so that you don't have to close and reopen it. Um, to remove a livery, you simply click and hold. It's kind of like playing No Man's Sky, if you're familiar with that. You click and hold for about a second and a half on the livery that you want to remove, uh, which is a bit cumbersome. However, they do say that the ability to remove or update multiple uh, 
liveries at a time is coming in a future update. So if you install a bunch and then decide for some reason that you don't want them there, it is pretty tedious right now to go and click and long hold each one of them. So just know that an update is planned to improve that. Uh, so, okay, now we're gonna get into the conversation of how to use MSFS add-ons linker and, and, and what I kind of am going to attempt and, and try to do for my own installation. So we will go ahead and show my entire screen here so I can show you the add-ons linker and how I'm going to be using this. Uh, actually, I'm already running it, silly me, so let me go ahead and just pull it up. All right, so if you're not familiar with the MSFS add-ons linker, uh, be sure to check my channel for prior videos. I've done a few videos on it at this point. It's a great freeware add-on available from FlightSim.2 that allows you to essentially manage your add-ons in a separate folder and then create symbolic links simply by enabling or disabling them. Uh, so I have most of these liveries from the Mega Pack already in my custom add-ons folder, which I'll pull up here. And the problem we have is if you attempt to, let's say you already have that set up the same way I do, and then you go and tell the uh, liveries Megapack manager to install those liveries to your community folder, because you already have a symbolic link to the folder with the same name, uh, it, it seems that it just doesn't do anything. If it does anything, it might be actually installing to the same folder that the sim link is pointing to. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems like it just doesn't work and the add-on manager uh, or rather the liveries manager will not know that you've actually installed it. In my experience it will still show that there's nothing there. So as a result, uh, I think for now if you want to manage these liveries through this new program, you are going to want to separate your liveries that are from the Mega Pack with which with liveries that are not. And I will uh, pause the video and I'll resume once I've kind of removed all the liveries that I've been managing from the Mega Pack inside MSFS add-ons linker, and then we'll go through uh, running that program and actually installing them from there. So I will be right back. I am back and things are looking pretty red here and that's because I've removed most of my liveries and we'll talk about why. I've only kept liveries that I'm absolutely certain did not come from the Clinks Mega Pack and uh, you can be a little bit more discerning if you want but I'm just going to kind of uh, re re-download other liveries I may have removed that were not part of the Mega Pack. Either way though since I deleted those from, I didn't remove them here, I literally went to my folder and deleted all of them. As a result, uh, the add-ons linker is saying, hey, we have a lot of symbolic links that don't point to anything anymore at this point, so I'm just going to right-click and tell it to delete all 266 of these invalid links. And it's going to say, hey, are you sure that's what you want to do? Okay, so we've done that, and as you can see, we still have quite a bit of add-ons installed, and that's because the uh, Bush League Legends repack, which uh, the repacks can usually be found on the Bush League Legends Discord server, uh, actually contains a whole bunch of liveries in and of itself for the X Cub specifically. So I've also kept my uh, my uh, uh, clutchy. Is it clutchy? It's something similar. Cluckthy gaming here. I've kept those and I've also kept my BLL Savage Cub. So now that we've cleaned all of that up and we no longer have any invalid links here, we're going to go into how to get the Liveries Mega Pack Manager set up. Okay, so we're going to go in here now and we're going to go to our settings page and we're going to do something a little bit tricky here. So when it asks us where our community folder is, it's going to insist that it's actually our community folder. In other words, it's not gonna let us, for instance, just choose the liveries folder here and be happy with it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a subfolder inside of my custom add-on folder, livery subfolder, and it's gonna be called Megapack. And then inside of Megapack, I'm gonna create a folder called community. And I realized I'm not showing my screen here for that part, my apologies, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, what I've done here is created inside of my custom add-on folder here, inside the liveries folder, which is where everything was being managed by MSFS add-ons linker, I've created a folder called Megapack, and inside of that I'm creating a folder called Community. And I'm going to select this folder, and as you can see, everything's happy, I'm going to click Save, 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my available liveries here, and I'm going to choose the ones that I'm interested in. I'd really like to have all the pit special. I'd love to have all of all 10 of the 152, as well as the Skyhawk liveries installed. And I would definitely like the caravan. So we'll just, you know, browse and add everything to our shopping list here. I'd, I'd like all their X-Cub skins. I don't think they overlap with the um, Bush League Legends. They might. Not sure about that. We'll find out. I'll install those. Let's get all the... Let's pretty much get all the rest of them. I don't really fly jets much. The uh, TBM 930 is about the fastest thing I usually fly. But we'll grab all these as well. Let's grab the extra, the icon, a lot of liveries for the icon now. I think it used to be just like eight or something like that. And the good old Savage Cub as well. Okay, so I've got just over uh, one and almost one and a quarter gigabytes worth of liveries to install. So I'll click this and you'll see that it'll start cycling through, uh, counting up to all of the liveries that I selected for download. So once I'm going to pause and I will come back once this is done. All right, we are back and all of those liveries have downloaded and installed. As you can see now on the right side, I have a bunch of installed indicators here. Uh, so as I mentioned before, there's kind of a problem right now with the add-on where when you uh, go to install liveries, there's actually nothing there. Even if you hit refresh, it just, there's nothing listed at all. And that can be remedied currently by simply restarting it, which I'm doing right now. And we are back in and I'll go to the installed liveries and voila, they all appear there. And this is where you would see if they have updates. This is where you'd also go to delete any of these. Okay, so as we saw, we installed this into a, a secret um, fake community folder as you will. We could have actually put this anywhere so long as community is in the name. And I'll go into um, how we set this up now with Microsoft Flight Sim add-ons linker and, and the two different methods you kind of have available to you. I chose one method, which is to nest that inside of my liveries folder inside of my add-ons, but I'll show you another way you can do it as well. So let's go ahead and go to the full screen here and let's bring up the add-ons linker. So I already had it open, so as you can see I already have an, a refresh needed indicator here. So what you can see now is that I have this mega pack right under my liveries folder here and I can simply go ahead and check to enable this whole thing and it will enable all those liveries for me. And voila, we have all the Mega Pack add-ons as being managed by the uh, the manager, but still accessible to us through the add-ons linker, which allows us to not have to put them in the community folder. And in the Discord for the uh, Mega Pack, they actually did mention creating symbolic links if you run into a problem with your folders being too long. Well, this is a way to just handle that without having to do that manually. Just use the MSFS add-ons linker and you're good to go. Now there's another way we could have done this, which I'll show you as well. If we go to tools and options inside of add-ons linker, you'll see that we can actually add multiple folders. So one thing I could have done as well is created anywhere on my system a separate folder such as mega pack with a community folder inside of it right here in the in the drive that I keep all my flight sim stuff and I could have simply clicked to add that folder right inside and it would show up underneath and we could enable them right there. So those are the two options you have available. I figured I would just have it in my liveries folder right here since as of the time of making this video, all you can do inside the Liveries Mega Pack Manager is manage deliveries from the Mega Pack, as you would might maybe expect. Uh, because of that, um, I don't see a problem with just having it nested inside of here. If at some point this tool becomes a manager for other add-ons as well, it might get a little bit more complicated or might, there might be other ways you want to manage it, such as creating those separate add-on folders and adding them into add-ons linker back there. But yeah everything is good to go. What would essentially happen now is if you were to update one of these uh, from inside of this, everything should work fine because I don't think any of the files would be renamed per se, so you shouldn't even need to go into the add-ons linker and do anything at that point. However, if you did make changes, let's say for instance you wanted to go ahead and delete some of these, add-ons linker would tell you that there was a refresh needed and the community folder would actually show somewhere in it a red line which indicates an invalid symbolic link and you could just clear that out by right clicking and clicking delete all invalid links or right click the specific invalid link 
link and right click to delete selected invalid links. So that's what would happen if you removed them. If you were to add new ones from available liveries, such as if new ones became available to you and you saw that you only had, let's say, 19 out of 20, uh, you could go in there, install the new one, and then pop over to your add-ons linker, refresh it if needed, and then go into your, you'll, you, what you would see is a square next to your community, uh, your Megapack folder. So I'll just go deselect one of these and you'll see that I now have a square. So if you installed a new livery via that tool, uh, it would show up a red here and you'd have to check it or simply check the, uh, the, the parent folder to get it to select all of the contents. So there we go. That is how to manage your Megapack liveries using the new Megapack livery manager and Microsoft Flight Sim add-ons linker. Check the description of the video for a link to the add-ons linker and uh, as well as a link to the new liveries Megapack manager as well. Thanks for watching. Post any questions or comments below. Have a great day.